They trailed 3-1 in the second, had nothing going. What ultimately sparked their comeback? The power play and the two-man advantage was significant. When you have that much skill that you can put out on the ice, you know, the opponent becomes really vulnerable. And, you know, you talk about power plays. Well, the Toronto Maple Leafs have a lot of power that they can put in their power play, and it turned it right around. And, you know, William Nylander, who, who is so good, he's patient, he steps right in here and just makes a precise, accurate shot where Carey Price has no chance right over the glove. And, you know, th that was a significant uh, opportunity for the Toronto Maple Leafs that the Montreal Canadiens with a holding penalty and then a puck over glass give them. And that is something that really becomes an equalizer in a game where Montreal was carrying a lot of it. They get shorthanded two goals and it turned the tide in Toronto's favor and ultimately a big difference in the victory for the Maple Leafs. Craig, 21-year-old defenseman Alexander Romanov made his NHL debut in this game. The Canadians and their fans have high hopes for him. What did you think of his performance in game one? See the smile on my face? That's it's the big. type of smile that Alexander Romanov <laughs> always gives me because he's such a joy to watch because he plays with this great enthusiasm. Trust me, he's going to be putting smiles on Canadians fans for years to come. His first NHL game, what impressed me the most, he didn't take a back seat. He didn't play with his with a hand uh, on the handbrake. He just kept playing forward in every single regard. He's confident. He makes the right plays. He knows he can make them. If he does make a mistake, he just moves on to the next play and corrects it. I mean, everything that he does in the game is done with a high level of intelligence. And, you know, when you watch him play, not only with the puck, but without the puck, you know that good things are going to happen. And you know what? When you watch what Claude Julien did with him with respect to ice time in every situation we put him in, power play, penalty killing, five on five, when Claude Julien decides that he's going to play that much, I think you know how good Alexander Romanov was in this game. He's only going to get better. All right, we are looking forward to it. And these two rivals will grow to hate each other over the next four months with nine more meetings left in the regular season. Thanks for this, Craig.